Let's look at some weak acids and weak bases in solution and see if we can predict which will have the highest pH. So here I have three solutions. They'll all be at 0.1 molar, which has the highest pH. 0.1 molar sodium acetate, 0.1 molar ammonia, or 0.1 molar ammonium chloride. Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, sodium acetate is the strongest base, so it has the highest pH. B, ammonia is the strongest base, so it has the highest pH. Or C, ammonium chloride is the strongest base, so it has the highest pH. Think about that for a minute and make a selection. We're looking at some weak acid and weak base solutions and trying to determine which has the highest pH. One of the solutions we're looking at is NH3. This is a weak base, and we've seen that before. NH3 reacts with water to form NH4 plus and OH minus. A weak base, weak base equilibrium constant, 10 to the minus eighth. So this reacts as a weak base. This will be a slightly basic solution. Another of ours is sodium acetate. Now, sodium acetate breaks up into sodium ions and acetate ions in solution. And the acetate ions react with the water. So here's acetate acting like a base. And we've seen that before, too. Here's the acetate ion reacting with water as a base. We had a Kb 10 to the minus 10. So a Kb 10 to the minus 10, this base considerably stronger than this base. The last one we have, NH4Cl, that forms NH4 plus ions in solution and Cl minus. And we've seen that. Here's NH4 plus reacting with water to form H3O plus, an acid, and a Ka 10 to the minus 10. So this last one is an acid a very weak acid, 10 to the minus 10 is its pKa, is its Ka, but still an acid. So I would suspect this will have the lowest pH. It's an acid. And we have to go between these two, which are both bases, and of these two, NH3 is the stronger base. So the highest pH, the highest OH minus concentration, comes from the strongest base, and in this case, that is NH3.